Hi, we're the Bengals. You're watching Sessions at AOL. Six o'clock already, I was just in the middle of a dream. I was kissing Valentino by Crystal Blue Italian Stream. With mega hits like Manic Monday and Walk Like an Egyptian, the Bengals were a major pop force on MTV and radio in the 1980s. Now, for the first time in over a decade, Susanna Hoffs, Debbie Peterson, Vicky Peterson, and Michael Steele are back in action with a new album of original material. We asked them if they have any regrets looking back. <laughs> Shoulder pads <laughs> Our that first were in video. Any, any you know, can we just remove the first <laughs> video? Yeah, just, you've never yeah. seen it. You will never see it again. It's gone. I'm telling you, that was the first time well, that we were going to go try to find you. I know. Know. See, but I can actually, <laughs> I can actually <laughs> appreciate how silly it is. Because some of the things are because I'll strike it. I'd strike it from the record. Yeah. I'm telling you, it was the first time we were set up with a stylist, <laughs> and um, and the last time that that it happened in that way, where we were actually put into clothes that we would never in a million yeah. years they're ever all, really they're wear. They're all really nice people, but we uh, we weren't we quite felt sure like about clowns. Clowns. Yes. Clowns. <laughs> I think Manic Monday was um, what was the first song that ever got played on the radio and became a top 40 single for us. So it, it sort of marked the beginning of an era for us, where where I have a memory of standing with all of you girls in Washington, on, in right, Washington right, DC right, on the street yeah. corner and a convertible pulling a up red and, convertible. A, and hearing it, you know, being played on the radio. Like, what is that? Oh my God, it's familiar. us. Yeah, that. You know, if it was a Beatles song, we would have got it in one second, or the Stones, or anything. It was seconds. weird. To, you don't expect to hear yourself. I was your butch, till we touched. I loved you well, never mind. We've been talking, you know, throughout the decade of the 90s, um, sporadically, but around 1998, we started hypothetically thinking, well, now, if we were to do this, how would it feel good and how would it not feel good? I think what we decided was that what made most sense was for us to come back to try and write new music, try and be a viable musical entity and not to just come back, get on the reunion circuit, the, the nostalgia circuit and, and you know, tour for the summer with you know, other 80 cast offs. It's taken us a long time because of our, our carefulness to get to where we are now, which is having a new CD out that we're really proud of. For me, the years away um, were a chance to just explore, you know, different musical paths. But more importantly than that for me, was just a chance to kind of have a life and I got married and had kids and I think um, becoming a mom really you know just added kind of a new appreciation for what this little family is all about. I went to Louisiana for, for 10 years and learned how to play music with the most amazing people and people I'd never met and people I'd always wanted to meet. I was learning about Cajun culture. I learned how to learn a song in the afternoon and get on stage that night and play it in front of a crowd. It was the antithesis of what the Bengals had become, which was extremely polished. For me, it was kind of very similar to Susanna. I got a chance to do some musical exploration and try some different things and had a child too. And that really does bring a whole new perspective on life. You have this little, this little life here that you have to take care of and it completely changes your mind on, on other things. I wasn't sure how much music I wanted to do because I, the Bangles was not my first <coughs> band. The Bangles was like my 19th or 20th band. And uh, I'd been knocking around Los Angeles for a long time and I, I needed to get out of Los Angeles. I needed to go somewhere a bit quieter and more, more of a natural situation and just kind of chill out. Therefore, when we came together, we were fuller individuals, more grown individuals, and we were able to bring more to this to this project. 
as a group. And I think I think with that, it, the importance of of protecting it in it from a different place of from a different value perspective. In other words, protecting what the band is as a group of people working together, as opposed to a group of people trying to be really successful. The Bangles. Check out their new album, Doll Revolution, on Koch International Records. Hi, we're the Bangles. And you're listening to Radio at Netscape. <laughs> I just thought it might be too thick that we all did it together. <laughs> 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 